this has never happened to him before. I hope Joe can get him to come. Sometimes he can get a bit suspicious. Joe will fix him. Hey, is Zeke still watching for them? I'll make sure. Are they here? They're here! They're here! Hey, they're here! Oh, yeah. Gosh! Food! Just sit down and start eating. Joe. Joe. Something for you. Gee, sure is a beauty, eh? Gosh, I forgot to wrap mine. Sorry, Chub. I was on lookout. Trout flies? What's the matter, Chub? Don't you like them? Well, sure, they're great. This is where I came in. Oh. <laughs> what have I done? Chubb's a little sensitive towards fishing tackle. How come? It was just after I came to live, the Indian River. I was out in the bush, throwing timber. Hey, Mike. Mike, did you hear anything? Somebody cutting wood. Who'd be cutting wood here? It's government property. Maybe someone just doesn't like the government. I think we'd better take a look. Come on. Kid. Cutting wood, what's it look like? Like cutting wood that doesn't belong to you. This is a national park. So what? What's it to you? My brother, George Keeley. He's the chief ranger for this district. Doesn't make you anything, bud. It makes me darn mad when fresh little guys like you come into the area and start helping themselves to other people's property. Cool off, Pete. Let me talk. You just keep out of it. Okay, but take it easy. No need to fly off the handle. Pete's right, though. You can't go around cutting timber just where you like. You're not going to stop me. You just get that. Mr. Gray said to come up and cut some wood. Ted Gray? Sure, right now he's my dad, and he's been pretty good to me. And if he says to come up and cut wood... He didn't mean to cut wood on government property. He's got enough old timber at the back of his own place. Now, why don't you go back home and get to work there? Why don't you just quit giving me orders and beat it? Skip Pete. Let's go. Talk to George when we get back. Okay. The rate right, this kid's going, he'll be here for a couple of years anyhow. Come on. Come on, Gabby. What's your name? Chubb Stanley. I'm Gabby. He's the one that got tough. Good thing I was there to keep the two of you apart. There might have been fireworks. I guess he's about as trigger happy as you are. I am not trigger happy. He's just a foster kid. Well, so what? I've heard of him. He comes from the city. He's boarding with Ted and Mrs. Graves. Doesn't give him the right to cut down all the trees in the world. I guess if you're a foster kid, you think everyone's against you. Who weren't against him? We know that. He doesn't. Like me to go back and tell him? Would you? Sure. You go on. I'll follow. Girl, come on. She'll never make it. 
I'll make it all right. You'll see. I haven't got that much time. Maybe you're right. Guess I'd better give up. Good idea. Where you're standing right now, that tree might just about be ready to come down on top of you in a couple of years. Never thought of that. Look, there's a lot of fallen wood at the back of Ted's place. Why don't we drop in on our way home and help you cut some of it? Why should you? Why not? Ted's a nice guy. If he wants some wood cut, why shouldn't we all help? Okay. Well, there's a pool about two miles up the river. We're going to try some fishing there. Like to come? Fishing? Hey, we could fix you up with a rod. I've got a rod. That's great. It's a beauty. It's just about the best rod in the world. Fine. Why don't you go home and get it, then come up to the pool? We've got plenty of grub. Thanks. Keep to the trail. There's a lot of flood water around. This looks like a good spot. be the smallest fishing rod in the world. It's an Indian game. The Indians sit around for hours playing this. Look. Try it? Try anything. Bet it takes you a couple of days to even get one on. You could be right. Hi, Chub. Glad you could make it. I guess we should let Chub join us. He looks like a tough little guy. Join who? The Indian River Junior Junior Rangers. It's sort of an unofficial branch of the Forest Rangers. We do the same sort of thing they do, uh, conservation, animal protection, fire prevention, firefighting. Oh, it's a great life. I think you'd like it. Pete's the leader, only because his brother's the chief ranger. Otherwise... Oh, don't pay any attention to him. He's jealous. Like to come in? Boy, would I like to come in. I sure would, but... But what? You really mean it? Of course he does. Okay, try anything. Fine. Elected unanimously. Gabby will put your name in the book. She's the club secretary. Yippee, I'm a member of a club. First time I ever went outside like this. You never ate outside before? Cat in the city. I was never outside until I came to Mr. Graves. You like staying with Ted? Best dad of them all. How many dads have you had, for Pete's sake? Six or seven, I guess. None of them lasted long. What happened, Chuck? Nothing. I just got sent back to the orphanage. Just like that? Sure. I guess folks get kind of tired of it if you don't belong to them. Pete says you got a swell rod. That's right. Take a look at it. Cut it up if you like. It's a beauty. Where'd you get it? I just got it. I got some nice flies, too. You've got about every fly in the... Every fly in the world here. Hey, Mike, take a look. Where did you get it? I told you, I just got it. That's good enough, isn't it? It's got Eddie Jones' name on it. It's mine. Okay, maybe it is, but that's Eddie's name on it. Last time I saw it, it was at the Jones' summer place. Eddie showed it to me. I tell you, they're mine. You think I stole it. I didn't say that. You meant it. I guess someone stole it, that's all. Meaning me, think I don't know? Now, wait a minute. I use a foster kid, isn't that right? I'm not supposed to have anything. Not even a mom, dad, or a dog. And if I've got something, I've pinched it. That's what you mean. Why can't you just say it? Because that's not what I mean. You're a couple of jumps ahead, kid. I don't want your lousy grub. I don't want anything. Just give me that and, and let me get out of here. And leave me alone. Just leave me alone. What got into him, for Pete's sake? I didn't say he stole those things. Maybe it just sounded pretty like it. Maybe he's just got a guilty conscience. I think you better turn these into George. Let him handle it. Can you tell me where I can contact him? Now I see. 
Would you ask him to call me back, please? Okay, thanks. He's on vacation, and his dad's out of town. I'm gonna ask him to call me back, but it may be a couple of days. You know, this kid must be pretty stupid. Well, he doesn't look it. Yeah, but he must have known somebody would recognize this if he went waving it around. You think he stole it? Could have, being a city kid. Now you're accusing him. It isn't fair. Things do look pretty black against him, Gabby. I don't care. I'm sure Chubb's okay. Been over the Jones place pretty carefully. No break-in. Nothing disturbed? No, it's what I said. Chubb's had a tough life, but that doesn't make him a thief. That's what I say, Mr. Graves. You look after two or three of these summer places when they're closed for the winter, don't you? Where do you keep the keys? Well, I keep them in my desk. Does Chubb know that? Well, he could know. I... But I tell you, that kid's okay. Since he came to live with us, we've got pretty fond of him. I think I ought to talk to him all the same. This stuff belongs to Eddie Jones. There's no getting away from it. Well, I can't stop you. Is he at your place now? He went out to chop some wood this morning. I, I haven't seen him since. He ran away from you around noon, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Three hours. Well, just because the kid runs away, that doesn't mean that... No, no, I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking he might have gone into the bush. City kid, wouldn't he head for the highway? Not necessarily. If he's guilty, or if he thinks we think he's guilty, he might have wanted to hide. Now, you kids were up around here, weren't you? Right there. Ah. Up there, there's a lot of muskeg and some pretty deep sloughs. The flood water this time of year makes it a great place for duck, but not for a city kid. You, you mean he might have got lost? Or something? Or something. There's a hydroboard helicopter up here right now. It's checking the power lines. Now, if I can borrow that. Hello, Charlie. Charlie, George Keeley. Look, maybe you can do me a favor. I've got a kid missing in the bush. I'd like to borrow your egg beater, okay? All right? Fine. Great. Look, I want you kids to get the others and go right back to where you left Chubb. I'll make a few arcs in from the river in the plane. Do you think we'll ever find him? Shouldn't take long to pick up a trail. And as soon as I do, I'll talk to you on the radio, okay? Okay. Okay, get going. Don't worry, Ted. We'll find the kid. Sure. My guess is he's scared. And when people are scared, they run out of gas pretty quick. He won't have gone far. Mm, except for one thing. That kid's been my son for five weeks. I'm beginning to know him. He may be scared, but he's got guts. All the same, we'll find him. I hope so, George. I just hope so. about you, but I don't feel too good about this somehow. Well, they were Eddie's rod and flies. We had to find out. Did you? No. I guess we were a little rough with them. You've had too much fresh air all your life. Too much to eat. You've never felt scared or all alone. Good gosh. I've been hungry out in the bush. I've been scared and alone. Me too. You still don't understand. You've got to be a girl, eh? Okay, kid. We'll find them. We'll make everything all right for him. Even if he has been helping himself. I think you're forgetting something. What? He really doesn't want us to. We'll never find him. Gabby's right. If he sees us coming, if he gets scared and beats it, or if he gets in among the muskeg and sloughs... going to fly the first arc, Pete. 
Stand by. I've picked up a trail. Hey, that's just great. Where? Due west of your present position. About one mile. Got that? Over. How do we find the trail? Over. I'll come back and circle until you're onto it, okay? Over. Understood. Over and out. Let's go. Tracks in the muskeg, but they could be moose. Can't tell the difference from the air. We'd better take it from here. He can't be far away. Over. Okay. Good luck. Over and out. The trail disappears a piece further on. Sounds quite hard. We'd better spread out, try and pick up the trail again. Okay, but keep within shouting distance. If anybody finds anything, just yell. Okay? Let's go. Watch out. Why don't you just go away? Go and find Mike. Go and find Mike. Go on, go home. Chop? Beat it. I want to talk to you. We've got to get home before dark. I'm not coming home. I'm just going on and on. You can't. It's all muskeg around here. There are bogs where you could drown and never be found again. Well, what's the matter to you? Why don't you just go away? Chop, when did Eddie give you the rod and tackle box?
Well, when did he? Well, he didn't. His dad gave him to me. Who told you? No one. But as you didn't steal it, someone must have given it to you. His dad's one of the governors of the orphanage. Well, he knew I was coming to live in the Indian River. He gave me the rod and flies. He said I wouldn't need him. Going to Europe or someplace this summer. Why didn't you tell them? Why should I? Could have saved an awful lot of trouble. Well, they didn't give me much of a chance, did they? Why don't we go tell them now? What makes you think they'll believe me? I believe you. I'll tell them. Well, think they'll believe you? I'll make them. Well, I don't care if they do or not. I do, you know, I do care. They've got to believe it. I don't want to get sent back to the city. You won't get sent back. Come on. Oh. Come on, Chuck. We can't make it. Not with that, Grandmas. It's pretty creepy. I guess some food might help that. Place anyhow. It's used for duck shooting once in a while. Here, Chub. No, thanks. You eat it. Go on, Chub. something? I've never had anyone to be scared of before. It's quite a difference. Listen! What's that? It's George Keeley! Did he know we were here? I said talk back with the address. Come on, Chubb. Come on, Chubb. Boy, was I scared. Me too. And hungry. Well, that's nothing unusual, is it, eh? <laughs> you know something? What? This is the first birthday party I've ever had. Well, we're glad you enjoyed it, Chubb, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Good old Chubb. 